Here at WVTM 13, we highlight those making a difference in our community. We call them our community champions. And making Birmingham proud tonight, I introduce you to a pair who has volunteered their time over years to find people who are missing. And just this week, all of their hard work has paid off, bringing a loved one home before the holidays. Extra playtime for Sadie today, and it's well deserved. Sadie actually found her, yes. A hero, some may say. The eight year old Belgian Melanois found a missing Florida woman, Susan Chadwick, lost in the woods. I think there was 5,500 acres of woods behind her house. After receiving the call for help from Walton County, Florida sheriffs, Birmingham's own Red Mountain search dog team jumped right in. We packed up and arrived Monday night and ended up finding her early Tuesday morning alive, which was wonderful because she spent two nights outside in 40 degree weather. To do so, Sadie and handler Kenny Powell put their endless hours and years of training to good use. The canine given a scent and right to work. So that we cover it in a grid type pattern so you don't miss anything. And she went and I found her and came back and alerted me and then went back and went back to her a second time and came back and alerted a second time because I wasn't fast enough getting there to suit her. She was hunkered underneath a tree. Um, she couldn't really stand up on her own due to her health issues. As you can imagine, the family is static to have their loved one return home. Finding this woman was amazing. This kind group of people on their own accord drove five hours here to Florida. We couldn't thank them enough. This a moment that spotlights all the hard work these Red Mountain search and rescue volunteers put in year round. It was textbook, it made me very proud. A pleased smile from Sadie today and a humble handler who continuously gives for the sake of good. We want to help, that's why we're here. Now, Sadie is dual certified in both live find and human remains detection, and this was her first person that she's located during a live find search. So congratulations truly to their team. And Ian, um, I want to stress the word here, volunteers. Groups like the Red Mountain uh, Search and Rescue Teams, the Southwest Panhandle team that called them in, they're helping out law enforcement. So they're nationally certified. They train on their own time, which is quite often, literally every weekend. And you see the difference they're making though. I mean, in, in cases like this, it's incredible. The moment for their time to shine when they actually really save somebody's mm -hmm. life.